What's happening everybody? Kyle from BR Scout here. Today we are talking about Echo Arena on Quest. Ready at Dawn's fast-paced VR esports experience will soon arrive on Oculus Quest headsets in open beta, meaning a whole new wave of players are about to try their hand in the arena. We've spent a decent amount of time with the closed beta these past few days, and we figure what better time to share what we've learned than right before the launch of open beta. Now it's important to note that if you've already spent some time with Echo Arena, a lot of the tips and tricks we share today are going to seem extremely obvious. This guide is for absolute beginners playing Echo Arena for the first time. All right, we cool? Cool. Without further ado, here is a guide to Echo Arena for absolute beginners. First tip, don't skip the tutorial. I know a lot of you are going to feel compelled to skip the tutorial and hop straight into the action, but the Echo Arena tutorial actually does a fantastic job of breaking down the core mechanics of the game. Here you learn how to manage your thrusters, how to brake, how to navigate around objects. It's a great first introduction to the game that I highly recommend you take advantage of. Take time to explore the Echo VR Lobby. The lobby in Echo Arena is one of the most impressive parts of the game. It's filled with a bunch of fun activities as well as a few practice rooms to hone your skills. One room is dedicated entirely to practicing punching and blocking. There's also an asymmetrical court perfect for practicing defense and offense. And then there's the mini court, which offers a miniaturized version of a full Echo Arena. Each of these are perfect for honing in your skills before hopping straight into a match. Speaking of honing your skills, be sure to get comfortable moving in a weightless environment. First up, get comfortable with slapping. Echo Arena is a zero-g game. By using the grip button on your touch controllers, you can grab onto objects and use them to propel yourself forward, backwards, or in any direction you'd like. Slapping, as some people refer to it, is the art of quickly hitting your grip function when touching an object to propel yourself forward without stopping. It takes some getting used to it first, but once you've mastered the technique, it's a fantastic way of quickly moving throughout the environment using the objects around you. You can even auto-grab by holding down your grip button before touching certain objects. Another important technique besides practicing your throwing, that's an obvious one, is to learn banking. The Echo Arena itself is filled with polygonal objects perfect for ricocheting your disc. If you learn the angles and the positions of each in-game object, you can actually use them to ricochet your disc in certain directions and even the goal. Use the asymmetrical court and the mini court to practice your ricochets. Learn where the disc flies when it hits certain parts of certain objects. Once you start to memorize patterns, you can use this to your advantage in-game. In addition to banking, you'll also want to learn how to use enemies as well as your teammates to propel yourself throughout the map. This comes in handy before the match even begins. At the start of each round, players are presented with a handful of cannons in which to fire themselves into the arena. If you and your team enter the same cannon, you can actually hold on to each other to form a human centipede-like creature, which you can then use to propel each other forward and forward. It's a great way of getting your hands on the disc before the enemy team, if done correctly. You can do this with two people, three people, even four. Again, once the action's started, you can use your teammates as well as enemies to help propel yourself throughout the map quickly. That actually leads into another tip. Learn to punch. In parentheses, get violent. By using the grip controls to make a fist, players can actually incapacitate other enemies by punching them. Once they're dazed and confused, you then have the opportunity to use their body to throw yourself forward. You'll want to be careful, however, as players are capable of defending themselves. By making two fists and holding them close to each other in front of your face, you actually form a shield capable of blocking punches. Those who punch the shields actually incapacitate themselves. So, keep your head on a swivel and time those punches correctly. When you're playing some of the higher level teams, some of them will actually relegate a teammate as goalie. In those cases, I highly recommend incapacitating the goalie before even trying to take a shot. Of course, the best way to do this is for a good old slug to the face. Also, and this is an important one, don't be afraid to clear the disc. A lot of Echo VR matches can quickly turn into a chaotic cluster fudge. If you ever find yourself feeling overwhelmed by the enemy team on your side of the court, don't be afraid to huck that disc towards the opposite side of the arena. This allows you and your team to regroup and reposition before having to jump back into the action. And that pretty much wraps it up for the bare, bare, bare essentials. 
Again, anyone who spent a couple rounds with Echo Arena will feel as though a lot of his info is pretty obvious. Again, these are for people that are brand new to the game, just hopping in now with the Oculus Quest. But what do you think? Are there any tips and tricks we may have missed you feel as though are important? Leave a comment below and maybe we'll do a follow-up. 